So we are now just 10 days away from the release of the first beta of the new iOS 17, which initially was reported to be just a minor update with mostly being focused on performance, bug fixes, and all that stuff. Something similar to iOS 15, but it looks like it won't be that way. We just got a last minute leak with some amazing new features that are coming to the new iOS 17. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at all that. And of course, a lot more regarding this update, which again, is coming on its first beta on June 5th, 10 days from now. So what we're talking about here is the new report from Bloomberg from Mark Ruman, who is our very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff. And it looks like Apple is adding this major new feature to iOS 17. Now, this is something I have rendered here based on what we have heard regarding this feature, which is coming to iOS 17, and it will be an amazing feature to have. So basically, we will have something similar like the standby mode, something that we have on the Apple Watch right now. So this will work when your iPhone is locked and also in landscape mode. Now what this will do, it will display different information on your display right here. So it will have something, of course, the time, weather, things like that, battery and all that. It will show a bunch of different information, but also it will show notifications on that display. Maybe something similar to this where you have just the icon and the badge, or maybe even a full notification, which again will be awesome. And it is said that it will also show live information. So you can basically have maybe something like this is not confirmed, but from based on that report, we got this right here. So something like this, where you can see like different maybe kind of widgets on that display where it shows like live information that you need to know. But this is really, really amazing. Again, it will work only with a locked device and in landscape mode, just like the Apple Watch when you plug it into charge or you leave it on your bedside, when you turn it on the landscape mode, it will go to this display, which is again, one of the major features of iOS 17 and it should look really, really awesome. This report also talks about other features that are coming to iOS 17. Even though we don't have a lot of detail here, there are coming a lot of different improvements on different parts of iOS. So privacy and security, and then we have location services. Location services are also getting a major upgrade with iOS 17. This is one of the fields that Apple will improve with iOS 17 that have been actually reported by this report. Also, this has also been reported before, the wallet app is getting a new, basically new look, new everything. It will actually be like redesigned and all that, so we should basically get a brand new wallet app with iOS 17. There are improvements coming also to share play and AirPlay as well. Even though we don't have, again, we don't have a lot of details regarding what features and what is changing with these already great features of iOS, but you should expect a lot of improvement on AirPlay and also share play. Again, always according to more groomment by Bloomberg. Also, the health app is coming finally to the iPad. So if you have an iPad with iPad OS 17, you will get the health app on your iPad as well. So again, this is an amazing report revealing amazing new features that are coming to iOS 17, which is now 10 days away from its first beta. So we are also getting some other cool features that have been reported before, like on the lock screen, we will get the ability to change the font size, also share your lock screens with other users, and the grid view on the lock screen will make it way, way easier for you to find your lock screens and of course, maybe remove them or edit any of them. We should also get a few new wallpapers, even though with iOS 16, we didn't get a lot of new wallpapers, hopefully with iOS 17, we will get a lot more. With all the new accessibility features that Apple has already confirmed, there will be a new control center. This now has been confirmed, basically has been reported by a lot of different sources. And finally, we have been expecting for this, we get a new control center with iOS 17. We should see a lot of improvements to the dynamic island and also improvements to the widgets on the home screen, which have basically been the same since their, their release with iOS 14. Hopefully the ability to have like interactive widgets on the home screen, that should be really, really amazing. And now let's move on and talk about some general stuff that you need to know regarding iOS 17. Now, first of all, the supported devices, there have been like different reports regarding supported devices, some claiming that they will be the same as on iOS 16, some claiming that the A11 devices will be dropped, the iPhone 8, 
8 Plus and the iPhone 10. And the oldest iPhone to support iOS 17 will be the iPhone 11. So nothing has been confirmed yet, but if we see a lot of new features and major features on iOS 17, Apple will most likely drop support for the oldest devices that currently support iOS 16. So now, the release date. We know it's June 5th, there will be the first beta on June 5th, but what's the schedule? Actually, the WWDC event will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time, and then Apple releases the first beta of iOS 17 after the event is over. So this year, we're expecting Apple, of course, to talk all about the new software updates, but we're also getting the new Apple headset, so that will take some time there to be presented as well. So I would expect it to last probably at around two hours, and then two hours after the event, we will be able to install iOS 17. Again, this year, we don't actually need to wait for a profile to install on our devices to install iOS 17. We just go to settings, general software update, and we should get here an option to actually update to the beta of iOS 17. Currently, we only have iOS 16 here. Now, I don't know how this works because we will have two different beta programs at the same time. Most likely, there will be another option here for iOS 17 and above will be iOS 16, but we will have to wait and see for that. So again, updating to iOS 17 will be kind of different this year. And if you don't have a dev account, you won't actually be able to install it until july so probably it will be somewhere mid to the end of july when apple releases the first public beta of ios 17. now previously all we had to do is download the beta profile now that won't work and you will need to have your device on ios 16.5 if you want to update to ios 17 because if you have an older version of ios on your device you won't be able to install ios 17 at all even though you might have a dev account you won't be able to do that so make sure if you want to have it the first time when it gets out, the first day, the first hours, make sure that you previously update your device to iOS 16.5 and then your device will be ready to actually be updated to iOS 17. So this looks like it's going to be a great update with these features that have been reported, the new standby mode, the new control center, and all the other like improvements to the current features and some nice to have features that have been reported that Apple is adding to iOS 17. This should be a great update. Hopefully they will improve on stability and also battery life as well. That would make it one of the best updates in quite a few years. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to be informed and stay up to date with the latest iOS 17 news. And of course, in 10 days, once it gets out on the first beta, we will have a ton of videos, a ton of stuff to talk about regarding iOS 17. So make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications and don't miss any of those videos i will see you guys on the next one